Good day everyone, let me discuss to you the Unit 3, Science and Technology in Nation Building. At the end of this unit, you should be able to number 1, discuss the role of science and technology in Philippine nation building. 2. Evaluate government policies on science and technology in terms of their contributions to nation building. 3. Identify the government's actual science and technology policies and appraise their impact on the Filipino nation. And last, number four, cite the importance of science-related programs and projects in the development of the Philippine economy. Before we're going to proceed with the main topic, which is the science and technology in nation building, I have here two questions. What made Japan become one of the largest economies and one of the most developed nations after World War II? How did China become an economic powerhouse in the 21st century? With these two questions, we will discuss how do science and technology affect in development of these two nations. Why is science and technology important in building the nation? The state of science and technology determines part of the socio-economic progress of country. It is a well-known fact that national progress is highly correlated to the capacity of the country to produce local industrial goods for domestic needs and that industrialization is very much dependent on the capacity of a country to use science and technology to progress locally found raw materials into high technology products and tools for households and other users. So development at any phase is always linked with technology and technology happens when there is advancement in science hence science technology and development are all proportional to each other so development is required in every individual to every nation in all aspects and for development to happen science and technology go hand in hand so basically, science is known as the study of knowledge, which is made into system and depends on analyzing and understanding facts. And technology is basically the application of this scientific knowledge. For any successful economy, particularly in today's quest for knowledge-based economy, science, technology, and engineering are the basic um requisites if nations do not implement science and technology then the chances of getting themselves developed becomes minimal and thus could be even rated as an undeveloped nation so science and technology is associated in all means with modernity and it is an essential tool for rapid development so let's talk about modernization Modernization is the current term for an old process and the process of social change whereby less developed societies acquires characteristics common to more developed societies. The process is activated by international or intersocietal communication. Modernization in every aspect of life is the greatest example of the implementation of science and technology in every nation. With the introduction of modern gadgets in every walk of life, life has become simple and this is possible only because of the implementing science and technology together. Without having modern equipments in all sectors, be it in medicines, infrastructure, aviation, electricity, information technology, or any other field, the advancement and benefits that we face today could not have been possible. A nation who is not able to prosper on these grounds could never be able to sustain the lives there and, ha and may have to solely depend on other nations for the basic requirements. Such is the influence of science and technology for the development of a nation. So today, countries are classified as developed and developing countries. The major categorization is based on economy and the application of science and technology. If we, careful, if we carefully analyze, one gets to understand that countries which have a 
strong base in science and technology are the ones that developed faster. A few examples are of countries like Russia, Japan, Brazil, China, India, and many more. For every nation to get developed, the application of both science and technology has to go hand in hand. Villages are developed into towns and towns to cities and cities are expanding to greater horizons. And this expansion has occurred through the expansion of science and technology over the years past and will be more in the coming years. It is estimated by the World Bank that 7 of the 10 largest countries of the world by 2020 would be in Asia, China, Japan, India, Thailand, Indonesia, South Korea, and Taiwan. A few decades ago, these countries are known to have poor policies, low discipline, and no advancement. And then, with the introduction of science and technology in an effective manner, they have made ripples across the globe. The role of science and technology has played in improving the life conditions across the globe is vivid. But the benefit has to be harvested maximum by all countries. Science and technology has made life a lot easier and also a lot better with the advancement of medicine and analysis on diseases. Apart from the medical side, there has been remarkable development in education, communication, agriculture, industry, and etc. The global economic output has increased 17 folds into the 20th century. And in spite of the advancements in almost all sectors, still the world is not free from hunger, disease, pollution, illiteracy, and poverty. And the gap between the rich and the poor has widened. And by the 21st century, with the right applications of research, development, and implication of science and technology, a major difference could be brought about. Um, these are some benefits of science and technology. Ensure healthcare, increase agricultural productivity, conserve and protect the environment, produce quality goods, secure peace, order, and instability, manage natural disaster, generate jobs for workers, increase economic productivity, develop good infrastructure, and efficiently deliver social services. It goes without saying that a nation's development and prosperity is judged to a large extent by the status of science and technology of that nation. A scientifically unsophisticated society means an underdeveloped nation in all sectors. It is easily understood when analyzing that countries like Japan and China and even USA who invest a decent amount for research and development are in the highest stratum of development whereas countries like Nepal who invest very less amount in research and development remain in the lowest ladder of development. And without proper implementation of science and technology, no nation could grow and all these nations that were labeled as low in growth have proved where they stand today and all that has happened only because of science and technology. And we as citizens of the nation and who hold equal responsibility for the growth should equip our youth with all possible facilities for their research thirst and support and motivate them and as the future of our nation it is in their hands as they could get our nation to more advanced levels than what it is today in the philippines the important role of science and technology is recognized in the 1987 philippine constitution science and technology are given priority to foster patriotism and nationalism accelerate social progress, and promote total human liberation and development. In Section 10, Article 14, it is stated that science and technology are essential for national development and progress. So the Philippine government, science and technology agenda. And the question is, how, do, how the Philippine government 
manages and develops science and technology through its policies and programs. So the government mandates an increase use of scientific and technological breakthroughs. The government aims to do this by promoting and accelerating technology adoption and stimulating innovation. It is based on the Philippine Development Plan 2017-2022. The Philippine Department of Science and Technology or DOST or known as Kagawaran ng Agham at Te Teknolohiya is the Philippine government's executive agency responsible for organizing science and technology related programs. Philippines and for formulating science and technology policies and initiatives to promote national growth. And this agency established to provide central guidance leadership, and coordination of research and technical activities and ensure that the findings from such activities are, are directed and used in areas of full economic and social benefits for the people. DOST is composed of three sectoral planning councils, seven research and development institutes, two collegial bodies, six services institute and several regional and provincial offices this is according from department of science and technology 2014. these are the aims of dost's programs projects and activities number one stimulations and innovation two promotion and acceleration of technology adoption three development of critical mass of globally competitive human resources on science and technology Four, increased productivity and efficiency of micro, small, and medium entre entrepreneurs. Ensure resiliency to disaster risk and climate change. Six, reduce inequality in science and technology capaci capacities and opportunities. And last, achieve practical science and technology governance. These are some major development programs and personalities in science and technology in the Philippines. Number one is Balik Scientist Program. The Balik Scientist Act of 2018, or also known as Republic Act 11035, was signed by the President um, Rodrigo Roa Duterte last June 2018. And this programs, a program aims to sustain and make the program more attractive to Philippine scientists working and residing abroad. The Balik Scientist Program encourages scientists, technologists, and experts from the Philippines to return to our country in order to share their expertise for the country's technological, agro-industrial, and economic growth, including building human resources in science, technology, and innovation. Next is Order of National Scientists. This award or the Order of National Scientists is the highest distinction for a Filipino by the President of the Republic of the Philippines with exceptional scientific and technical achievements. The difference instituted in 1976 through Presidential Decree 1003A which created the National Academy of Science and Technology. And as the country's highest recognition and advisory body in science and technology, NAST recognizes national scientists annually for outstanding individual or joint accomplishments in science or technology and gives the president the rank and title. Executive Order 236 lifted the status of national scientists into the Order of National Scientists in 2003. And as of 2018, there are 41 national scientists and two of them are engineers, agriculturists Ramon Barba and biologist Angel Alcala. Small and Medium Enterprise Technology Upgrading Program or SETUP SETUP stands for Small and Medium Enterprise Technology Upgrading Program. It is one of the flagship program of DOST. SETUP is a national strategy aimed at encouraging and assisting small and medium-sized enterprise in adopting technology innovations to improve their operations, thus 
boosting their productivity and competitiveness. The program helps businesses to tackle their technological challenges through technology, transfer, and development interventions. According to the DOST, in 2018, the companies supported by Setup produced 42,853 jobs, 8,344 billion cumulative gross sales, and 41% productivity increase, and a total of 22,635 technology innovations and their 773 projects funded. Grants in Aid Program or GIA, it is one of the programs of the Department of Science and Technology that aims to harness the country's scientific and technical capacities to promote sustainable economic growth and development. The GIA program is structured by funding related science and technology undertakings to contribute to Filipinos' productivity and quality of life through the generation and promotion of appropriate technologies. It also aims to reinforce participation, transfer, use of technology, human resources development, dissemination of information, advocacy, and leakages. The GIA program offers grants for implementing programs or projects defined in the, in the current DOST priorities and trust and support science and technology activities which are classified under the General Appropriations Act. Next, the Forest Product Research and Development Institute. The Forest Product Development or Research and Development Institute researches forest products from wood and non-wood. It is the center of applied technologies in the country for the utilization of forest products. Philippine Nuclear Research Institute. The Philippine Nuclear Research Institute or PNRI Formerly the Philippine Atomic Energy Commission, or PAEC, was founded on June 13, 1958. It is one of the research institutes within the Department of Science and Technology. It is authorized to perform research and development activities on the peaceful use of nuclear energy, aiming to lay down regulations on these uses and enforce those regulations. This will help protect the health and safety of workers and the general public. The Project NOAA or NOAA stands for Nationwide Operational Assessment of Hazards. Project NOAA was an integrated disaster prevention and mitigation program of the Department of Science and Technology. This project designed to employ science and technology to produce reliable data and meet the conditions required by national government agencies even private sector stakeholders, and academy to make informed decisions on disaster risk management activities. Project NOAA aims to fulfill its vision of disaster-free and empowered communities by providing open access to accurate, reliable, and timely hazard and risk information that has been updated and enhanced using advanced technology. This also undertakes research projects to develop technology and resources that further strengthen government capacities and help the public plan for and respond to disaster. And in March 2017, study development and extension services on natural hazards, disaster risk management, and climate change actions developed at the University of the Philippines as the UP NOAA Center. Philippine California Advanced Research Institutes or PICARI Projects The Philippine California Advanced Research Institutes project is a new approach to enhance the skills and abilities of Philippine universities and colleges, faculty, and staff through scholarships, training, and research collaborations with leading research universities in California, USA, in the Priority Areas of Information Infrastructure Development or IT and Health Innovation and Translational Medicine or HITM. Lastly, Philippine Space Program. The Philippine Space Program is technically decentralized and managed under the Department of Science and Technology by different agencies. 
It aims to set the foundation for the establishment of a Philippine Space Agency. The Philippine government passed the Philippine Space Act or the Republic Act 11363 in 2019. It is under the newly formed Philippine Space Ed Agency or FILSA. And to see the integration and centralization of space research and development. The development of the space program is essential for national security, agricultural development, environmental management, and climate change mitigation. The program aims to develop technologies such as uns uncrewed aerial vehicles, microsatellites, and communication satellites. That ends with our discussion on Unit 3. Thank you so much and God bless everyone.